Hi, I'm Susan Cernak, fashion editor of Glam.com, and today I'm here with Kristen, who is handpicked by Levi's for her chic and sophisticated style. Kristen, why don't you talk a little bit about what your everyday style is like? So I work in PR and marketing, so for me it's important to have a more polished look during the day and then have something that can kind of be versatile for a night look, because oftentimes I'm going to events and, um, and parties. Dashing around town. Yeah. And what are a few of your favorite kind of go-to pieces? I love to wear, you know, a great sweater or, you know, kind of a tailored shirt, kind of keep it simple. A, you know, kind of a clean, simple palette always works well, I find. Um, you know, and then using an accessory like a scarf, for example, to add a punch of color is um, always great. Dark jeans are wonderful, um, you know, in or out of boots. I love boots, so I have these great ones which are kind of perfect for the season. What would you say your signature accessory is? You know, I tend to go towards uh, scarves and wraps, and I feel like that works well, kind of spicing up an outfit, adding a little color. Um, you know, I, if I'm not wearing simple jewelry, um, you know, adding kind of a bold statement piece like a necklace or even kind of a funky belt, I feel it can definitely change an outfit, make it a little bit less boring. And what would you say your shopping style is? Do you kind of go out with a mission? Do you window shop for a while, then buy? I always say when I go out for a mission, I never find you know what it is I'm looking for. So yeah, I think definitely more the kind of spontaneous. Um, I love to travel, so certainly when I'm you know um, when I'm traveling, I'm always kind of keeping my eye out for something. Um, but yeah, you know I could just be walking by, and you know often the spontaneous finds are the best ones. Now away from work, when you get some downtime, what do you like to do? I'm so passionate about traveling, so if I'm not planning a trip, I'm, I'm hopefully on my way to a new destination. When you're gearing up for these trips, what kind of packing uh, system do you have? Are you an overpacker? Are you super efficient? Yeah, I used to be more of an overpacker, and I definitely regretted it when I was lugging a heavy suitcase uh, to catch a train. But I think now I've gotten the process down a little bit better, and I um, you know, lay everything out and try to find those key pieces that can be you know, extremely versatile and take you through kind of touring during the day or you know, checking out a new hotspot at night. And are there any style rules that you always try and abide by? Definitely not. I think my look's always changing. Other than you know finding the right look for me and something that is comfortable and, and kind of can be polished for the daytime, that's pretty much all I stick to. Otherwise, you know, trends come and go, and, and you know, I'm always kind of updating my look. Are there any trends or looks that you would totally stay away from? I do think it's important to kind of go with a look that suits your your body type and your body shape, and you know, it's not worth sort of sacrificing that. I think for you know a trend. Obviously, they come and go, and it's best to have a look that you know that certainly flatters you. Kristen, it's been so great getting to know you and knowing a little bit more about your style. I can't wait till we hop in that closet of yours and see if we can't put together some timeless looks. Sounds good.